The Next Generation NCLEX is a comprehensive examination designed to assess the knowledge and skills of aspiring nurses. The examination covers a wide range of topics, including patient care, pharmacology, and nursing processes. One of the key components of the Next Generation NCLEX is the case study question. This type of question presents a real-life scenario to test the candidate's ability to analyze and solve complex patient care problems. The case study question requires the candidate to demonstrate their critical thinking, problem-solving, and clinical decision-making skills, which are essential for effective nursing practice. Let's see the patient's history for case study. A 65-year-old male patient has been admitted with symptoms of shortness of breath, cough, and wheezing. He has a history of smoking and asthma. Nurse's notes reads as, Observe shortness of breath and wheezing while breathing. Chest sounds congested with wheezing and crackles. Pulse rate elevated at 120 bits p.m. Blood pressure is 90 by 60 meters mh. Oxygen saturation is recorded at 88% on room air. Physician's orders to do ABG test to evaluate acid-base balance. Chest x-ray to evaluate lung condition. Spirometry to evaluate lung function. Nebulization to relieve wheezing and shortness of breath. Bronchodilators to open up airways. Lab values of ABG test results is given as pH 7.25, PSCO2, 50 mm, HCO3 to 20 milli equivalent per liter. Oxygen saturation, 88%. What condition does the patient have based on the ABG test results? A. Respiratory acidosis B. Respiratory alkalosis C. Metabolic acidosis Metabolic alkalosis Answer is A, respiratory acidosis. The patient's ABJ test results show a low pH of 7.25, which indicates acidosis. The elevated PSCO2 of 15 just suggests that the acidosis is caused by decreased ventilation. The bicarbonate levels are below the normal range, which shows that the body is compensating for the acidosis. The oxygen saturation is also below normal, supporting the respiratory acidosis diagnosis. The patient's history of smoking and asthma further supports the diagnosis. Let's see another question. What is the most likely diagnosis for the 65-year-old male patient based on the given information? A. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. B. Bronchitis. C. Pneumonia. D. Acute respiratory distress syndrome. E. Asthma exacerbation. There are two correct answers for this question. A. 
Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and E, asthma exacerbation are the correct answers. A. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is a likely diagnosis based on the patient's history of smoking and asthma, symptoms of shortness of breath, wheezing, and cough, chest sounds congested with wheezing and crackles, and elevated pulse rate. B. Bronchitis is not a likely diagnosis as the patient's symptoms, such as shortness of breath, elevated pulse rate, and low blood pressure, suggest a more severe condition than just bronchitis. C. Pneumonia is not a likely diagnosis as the patient's chest sounds congested with wheezing and crackles, which is not a typical sign of pneumonia. D. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, is not a likely diagnosis as the patient's ABJ results, P7.25 and PSCO250 do not meet the criteria for ARDS. E. Asthma exacerbation is a correct answer as the patient has a history of asthma and is showing symptoms of wheezing and shortness of breath. The physician's order of nebulization and bronchodilators also supports this diagnosis. Let's look into another question. What is the primary cause of respiratory acidosis? A. Hypoventilation. B. Pneumonia. C. Brain trauma. D. Emphysema. The correct answer is A, hypoventilation. Respiratory acidosis is caused by hypoventilation, which is when the lungs cannot exchange CO2 with the environment due to airway or ventilation obstruction. This causes the excess CO2 to combine with water to form carbonic acid, leading to an increase in hydrogen ions in the blood and a drop in the pH level. Other conditions such as pneumonia, brain trauma, and emphysema can also cause respiratory acidosis, but hypoventilation is the primary cause. What are the clinical manifestations of respiratory acidosis? A. Seizures, warm and flushed skin, and decreased blood pressure. B. Drowsy and dizzy, headache, and coma. C. Tetany, numbness, and seizures. D. Deep and rapid respiration. The answer is B. Drowsy and dizzy, headache, and coma. The clinical manifestations of respiratory acidosis are related to the increase of carbonic acid in the blood, leading to hypoventilation. The compensatory mechanism of the kidneys retaining bicarbonate and excreting excess hydrogen ion can cause the patient to feel drowsy and dizzy, have a headache, and even go into a coma. Seizures, warm and flushed skin, and decreased blood pressure are also symptoms, but not specific to respiratory acidosis. Tetany, numbness, and seizures are the symptoms of respiratory alkalosis. Deep and rapid respiration is the symptom of metabolic acidosis.
What is the condition caused by excessive vomiting that leads to increase in bicarbonate ion concentration in blood? A. Respiratory alkalosis. B. Respiratory acidosis. C. Metabolic acidosis. D. D. Metabolic alkalosis. Correct answer is D, metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis is the condition caused by excessive vomiting that leads to increase in bicarbonate ion concentration in blood. This increase in bicarbonate ion concentration leads to loss of acid in the blood and results in metabolic alkalosis. Other causes of metabolic alkalosis include diuretics and citrate toxicity during massive transfusion of whole blood. By analyzing the patient's history, nurse's notes, physician's orders, lab values, and ABJ test results, the nurse can make a diagnosis and understand the cause and symptoms of the patient's condition. This practice helps the nurse to develop critical thinking skills, improve patient assessment skills, and enhance their knowledge of different medical conditions. In this case, the patient has a history of smoking and asthma, and has symptoms of shortness of breath, cough, wheezing, and an elevated pulse rate. The ABJ test results suggest respiratory acidosis, and the likely diagnoses are chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and asthma exacerbation. The primary cause of respiratory acidosis is hypoventilation, and the clinical manifestations are drowsy and dizzy, headache, and coma. The main cause of metabolic alkalosis is excessive vomiting. 